How's it going, guys? Uh, obviously, there's not any of you guys here yet. Uh, hoping to see somebody soon. I'm going to go ahead and basically explain as, as simple as I can. Um, today, I'm going to go over all of my favorite bass lures. And uh, I kind of want to get some info on what your favorite bass lures and stuff that you use to target largemouth, smallmouth. Uh, bass are. Uh, I don't care which ones you'd like to target most, but I would like to actually, you know, kind of get an understanding of what everybody's favorite lures are. So obviously no one's here right now, but if you do see this view video in the future, because obviously it's live right now, um, comment below what your favorite bass fishing lures are. Uh, and like I said, I don't care which one it is, because I love fishing for all fish. Uh, Smallmouth fight pretty hard. So they're kind of like a favorite as far as bass fishing, but I mean, I've had some monster large mouths and those are addicting too. So uh, I'm gonna hang out here. Hopefully some of you guys show up pretty soon. Alright, I got one thumbs up before <laughs> that was weird. So whoever right, I got one thumbs up before <laughs> that was weird. So somebody popped up. There's two. We got two of you guys. Alright, who's here? Comment. Who's here? I wanna get a couple of you guys in here before I start talking about all this stuff because I'd really like to get uh kind of a good feedback loop going. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sounds good. All right, so there's going to be a lot of little bit of dead, well, a lot of little bit. Yeah, that's awesome. Uh, this is going to be fun because it's going to be like uncut. And uh, I'm just going to, I'm going to use this as today's Tackle Tip Tuesday. Uh, I'll explain it to you guys more as I go along here. All right, I, I got you, I got you, Wisconsin Outlook. All right, so, well, there's five of you right now. Um, let's kind of get this started. What I want to do, and I already kind of said it at the beginning of this video, but I'll kind of reiterate. What I'm doing today is going to be all about my favorite bass fishing lures, and I want to get uh, kind of like a feedback loop. I want to understand what some of your favorite lures are, and then uh, kind of what you guys target the most, whether it's smallmouth, uh, largemouth, whatever, and how you target them. <laughs> your personal interest in your business. I didn't know your business included live feeds. Anyways. <laughs> Since you're the one talking the most right now, what is your favorite largemouth bass lure currently this season not last season this season so it's kind of like a current thing i want to know what you guys are throwing right now and i'm, I'm talking to you dave <laughs> and if you guys are wondering why i keep looking down it's because i'm using my phone and then the computer so i can read your comments actually Okay, so you're, that's funny that you say Ned Rig, because I wanted to try and throw it a little bit this season, but I just haven't got around to it. I've been stuck on this Whopper Plopper train. Um, you, I know you know about it because you, you commented on the videos, but you guys, if you know, you know, uh, obviously the Plopper is my, I guess it's like my addiction, but I, I want to try throwing the Ned Rig. Um, how do you... How do you throw it is how I kind of want it. I know it's a stupid rig like as far as like simplicity and you can like cut off pieces of worm and throw it, but how do you use it? Yeah. <laughs> I wonder how 
how fast this feedback loop actually is and uh, whether or not you guys get me in real time here. I feel like it's probably delayed. So I'm going to go off of on some of the ones that I have that I like. And I want you guys to let me know if you use any of these. Uh, obviously, if you're just coming in or whatever, uh, go ahead and just comment below. Let me know you're here. Let me know that you can hear me. Uh, you should be able to hear me just fine. But what I'm going to go over, and I kind of mentioned it already, is I'm just going to kind of go over some of the main ones that I use. And uh, like I was saying to Wisconsin Outlook, I basically want to stick with what I've been using this season the most. Okay, I'll have to give that a try. I, I definitely still have time to throw the Ned Rig this season, so I will give that a try. Um, and I'm going to be bouncing back and forth here, so sorry if it seems really sporadic for anybody that's new. Um, this is the plopper that I've been using. It's the 90, and I believe it's the Blue Blood. That's the one that I've been throwing so far this season. I've been doing pretty good on it. Uh, I actually got a really big smallmouth on it this year. I, I'll try and put that up in the cards up here once I re, once I upload this video. Um, but, yeah, that's number one for this season. Uh, I don't know if you've been throwing this at all or if you've been uh, stuck using anything else, but... Old, early spring to late fall, only different size how you work. Okay. Yeah, I'll have to play with that, definitely. I, I just haven't had a chance to play with a Ned Rig, and I know they work good, but it's one of those things, like, I really should use it just to catch some more fish and try some stuff new, um, but I'll have to get around to it. All right, so, like I said, I'm going to be going back and forth here. Uh, obviously, if you guys are paying attention, the plopper was the first one that I've been using the most this season. Uh, another one that I like to use, you're going to kind of see a trend here, is I like topwater stuff. So another one I've been using is this guy right here. It's the, I think it's, yeah, it's the live target frog. Um, I use this one more so when I'm go fishing heavy cover. And then I have this, uh, what is this? It's a scum frog. So this scum frog is what I use when I'm fishing like slop. It's this one's really beat up. I have two backups to this one, but for whatever reason, this one seems to get better hookups. I think it's just because I have a softer body on this one, and uh, I don't know. I'm just used to playing with it. Maybe it's the confidence bait or something like that. But so far, those are the ones that I've used this season. Um, just a heads up to anybody that's new. We're going over like some of my top. Bass, bass fishing lures this year. It doesn't matter, smallmouth or largemouth. Uh, Wisconsin Outlooks, I already mentioned the Ned Rig. Um, I kind of want a feedback from anybody that's watching as like, I want to know what you guys use too. So feel like, it, you know, whatever you use this season, comment below what you're using. So I can kind of, I'm trying to learn more about uh, like obviously more options to throw for bass fishing. Um, Another one that I used early this season, and it's been working pretty good, was this guy right here. Uh, Perry, I'll get to you in a second, but this skitter, skitter bug, or jitterbug, sorry, it's a little bit different, but I have a, a medium, or a small medium one of this, and then I have a big one. Uh, the big one tends to draw in really big fish, but it's kind of like a select thing. But uh, the jitterbug works really good, uh, like parallel to weed lines or like parallel to like lily pad lines or uh, reeds and stuff like that. But I really like it for early season more so than anything because then it doesn't get caught up in any like moss or junk, you know, in the weeds. But Perry, you said you use creature baits for panfish. Get into large, largemouth biggest is four or five caught on cauldron flowage or four four <laughs> four pounds four five ounces okay um that's not a bad fish i've been trying to beat five pounds over the last couple of years here uh, i might have beaten it before i got a scale but that sounds like something that would be fun 
Uh, when you say creature baits, like, can you name something? I'm really, like, bad when it comes to, like, new or different styles of baits. Uh, I understand that creature baits work good. What's your version of a creature bait? What do you throw on? What brand, name, uh, what kind of plastic is it? And like, what do you throw it on? If it's a, if it's just a plastic bait, uh, do you throw it on a certain rig or what? Nineteen five. Dave, I think you're gonna have to come down by me and fish, cause I'm gonna get. <laughs> I have some 20s that we could definitely get you on if you want to come down and fish, but we're going to wait till the fall and we're going to wait till it's not 90 degrees outside. So keep that in mind. So keep, <laughs> let me know if you want to do that. Uh, you can hit me up on Instagram, Facebook, whatever. Um, you know how to get a hold of me. You've been talking to me for a while. So, but we could definitely beat that 19.5. But that's a big fish. It's nice. Oh, hey, Christine. I was wondering if you're gonna make it in tonight. I didn't know. Uh, I didn't know if you guys were, or if you were gonna be busy or whatever. But uh, I don't. The I'm gonna kind of reiterate this throughout the whole live feed because uh, I'm not gonna do too long of a live feed. I just wanted to get some information across. I already went over uh, one, two, three of my uh, baits basically for this year that I've been using. Um, I'm gonna go over a couple more that I want to share with you guys, and then. Uh, I like I said I'm gonna keep this short, but uh, like I said I just want to I want to get a couple of back and forths here. I want want some new baits to maybe buy and throw or try out. And yes, it's very hot outside. That's why I'm sitting in here. Uh, the other thing is that a lot of you guys don't understand. There no, well you might know. So like my other hobby than fishing well okay my other lifestyle than fishing is going to the gym and lifting and like strong stuff i actually hurt myself recently yeah everybody can make fun of me for lifting weights and getting hurt uh, i don't care i still go to the gym <laughs> but i've been kind of recovering so i haven't been able to go out and film and you know that's why we're doing the live thing today there's a video for you guys tomorrow so you know that'll be out for you uh in the morning tomorrow but yeah, that's that's basically why we're doing this right now. Fish live bait most. My favorite worm ever was a bungee worm. Berkeley made them two years ago. I found a guy who made his bait. <laughs> you want to know what I hurt my back lifting? It was uh, 315 pounds. You find some fish that big, and we'll talk. <laughs> and yes, I like meat, but I bet you you do too, so we're not too different. <laughs> hey, James. It's been a while. I haven't seen you around. Uh, glad you popped in for the live feed tonight. It's nice being able to talk to some of you guys that have been around for a while. Beal spins. You know what's funny is you said beetle spin and uh, storm thunderstick jerkbait. That storm works really good, but I don't have any right now. That's something I do know about, and I was gonna bring it up. So this is another one, uh, the JB Lures tadpole spin. But this is their big one. If you guys look, that's a huge blade. Uh, the obviously it's like a regular twister tail with like a regular like crappie head jig on there, but this works really good. Uh, with shallow running bass. It's not a really deep running bait. Uh, I think three three feet to like, I would fish it at like 10 feet max, but it does work and it really gets their attention and it's, I mean, it's simple. You throw it, reel it in. But that's just another one of those baits. And I want, like I said, I wanted to kind of go over some of those. Can you describe the Nico rig? I've been hearing about it, but I don't know like what does it entail like how do you set up a nico rig is that the one with the little short hopper so like another one i'm gonna throw this in there so because i'm gonna like i said i'm gonna put this video up for you guys as a tackle tip tuesday and for anybody else that wants to uh, learn anything about like possible baits that's why i want you guys to put your input in uh, come back and comment too later on if you have any other ideas uh, after after I load this up. 
but the Nico rig is that so I have this whole setup right here set up for drop shotting and I run these chompers drop shot worms but from what I understand it's like the Nico rigs just a, a small one or like a small drop shot basically so you have like the sinker a small dropper and then the hook correct Yeah, Christine, I was actually uh, going over that earlier. I have a ton of these, these live target frogs. Uh, it's one of my favorite ones, that or scum frogs. And I always have backups. So I do understand that one. It's a great bait to use. I kind of went over that already too. And anybody that's already been here, that those are just some of the things that I've gone over. Uh, One more thing here. Uh, I did a video on this earlier and did the Gamagatsu uh, EWG hook with the Zoom trick worm. And I think these are like a seven inch trick worm, but that seems to be one of the better baits that I've discovered set up this year. It's just weightless worm with uh, just the, the, the rig set up that way. Nail bottom of the plastic for weight and an octopus hook parallel to the worm. Three quarter of the way. Oh, okay. So wacky worm. That's the one with the wacky worm with the nail in the head. Okay. Now I know what you're talking about. That is a really good setup, and I do like the idea of using that. I gotta try it still. Uh, but I have a feeling on the big lake by me. Uh, if you guys know what I'm talking about, I have a feeling that would be a killer, killer bait out there. Especially on those flats and the deeper the deeper drop offs that those smallmouth and stuff stand on. So I'm definitely gonna try that out. Thanks for uh, mentioning that Wisconsin Outlook. Tony Santa, what's my favorite bait? What's my favorite bait for the big lake? Um, if you're talking about the one I just mentioned, that honestly drop shots, and it just depends on the day. Cause sometimes you can get away with like you have to go small. Like these are four inch drop shot worms. I have a lot of those because they do work. But I mean, uh, like Wisconsin Outlook was saying, uh, wacky rigging, like a six or seven inch or eight inch worm. Um, I'm sure that Nico rig would work out there. A lot of finesse presentation because it's such a, it's actually a very pressured lake. Even though not a lot of people get out there, it's just the amount of people out there know what they're doing and tend to fish the same stuff over and over and over again. Um, Honestly, there's not too many other, th like, drop shot, Texas rig, and I can't think of anything else, like, off the top of my head. I usually run drop shot right away. Maybe a jig. Like, I've, I've run just, like, a standard jig and a worm. So, basically, like, a Ned rig almost. And uh, that works pretty good when you're hopping that along in the bottom. Yeah, I just caught that real life. Beetle spins are a very underrated product. Uh, like I, I was showing you guys earlier, I got the JB Lures uh, Beetle Spin, or this is a tadpole spin, sorry. Uh, but this is their bigger one. I don't, I think it's a one eighth ounce. Pretty, yeah, this is the, or no, this is a quarter ounce. So this is a bigger one. And this one works really good for, like I said, 10 to five feet of water. Uh, it is one of my favorite search baits. I'm just gonna read this real quick here. Okay. I'd be curious to see that Freddy frog. Be interesting. And Wisconsin Outlook, I'm 100% gonna have to try that Nico rig and the Ned rig because I have a feeling that if I did that in the right spots that I know on the big lake, I could probably put a ton of smallmouth in the boat, and there's some big, big smallmouth to get out of that water. But I have to wait till it cools down again because the ocean liners are kind of ruling the body of water right now, and I, I don't really like to contest with five foot waves with my little 14 foot boat. If you guys seen that one video where I was catfishing on a big body of water and I almost got sunk out there, we're done playing with waves over four feet. <laughs> Oh, my big gills? 
If you didn't get a chance to, I have the video up. Its name is, I believe, this lake is awesome or something like that. If you just go back on my uh, my videos, it's like three videos back, or two videos back. It's not even that far. I think it's actually my last video. So if you want to go see that, I have all of the stuff listed in there, and you'll be able to see it. Uh, I talk about it a little bit, but basically it's it's pretty simple. So if, you, if you're looking for that, I have it in that video. Anybody else that's wondering what I was using to catch the big gills, I basically show you guys everything and how to, how to do it and how to find them. Uh, hopefully it helps you guys catch them, but be responsible. Those big gills should never be kept, and obviously it, they're very sensitive in the sense that, like, if you kill off all the big males, uh, you shrink the whole panfish size. So that's something to pay attention to. But uh, I want to go over what else. Oh, one other bait that I know, it's, and like I said, it's, you're going to see a trend here with my bass baits because that's what this whole video is about. Uh, these poppers, uh, it's a hula popper. I know they still make them. They make big ones, little ones, real little ones. When I say real little ones, uh, Wisconsin Outlook, I'm sure you'd dig on this guy. He's tiny, like the size of my finger. But that catches you big bass, and it's it's fun. I mean, it'll catch you big bluegills and anything else that'll hit top water, but it's, it's really one of those things. Uh, I don't really bass fish Pete or Castle. Juju bug. Yeah, I don't know about the juju bug. Oh, is that the one with the little feelers? I'd be curious to talk to them about that because I, I think I was looking for that last year. That'd be kind of cool to pick up that. Yeah, hula poppers are just, it's one of those simple things. If you got a clear surface and something easy to bring them back in, that's what you get them on. I had big eyes that stick out on Red Hook. Big eyes that stick out on Red Hook. Oh, were the eyes like the weight? I think I know what you're talking about. Jitterbug, yep, that's, that's what I usually use. What size whoppers do I use? <laughs> Are you talking about ploppers or hula poppers? <laughs> Which one are you thinking? Um, oh, I let me see something here. There's a hula popper out there. I have feathers and skirts. Yeah, you can replace that. Uh, a lot of people don't realize that you can take this off and replace that. And uh, when I was younger, I used to make my own stuff because you can just wrap something around that. So like, if you stick a, like, uh, like Christine was saying, you can actually stick like a feather on there and just wrap it and then glue it. And now you have a feather on there instead of this uh, skirt that tends to melt like crazy. It is really cheap and chintzy. And like, you can see like that one's like melted to the body right now. So I'm gonna have to go over that, but it still works. Yeah, I have a really big jitterbug somewhere. I have, I think I have it in my, I have a big fish box that's literally got like all my giant baits in it. And I used to only use that for like musky fishing or like giant bass fishing. And I used it up on a lake that I used to go up to all the time way in northern Wisconsin. And I think I got my PB there, but I didn't have a scale and he swallowed it. So I was like really quick to get it back. So I don't even think I got a photo of that thing. But yes, the jitterbug it works um one more thing i wanted to go over and i don't know if any of you guys can even help me with this uh i guess there's the uh what is it called i'm having a brain fart it is <laughs> oh River to see Whopper Plopper 90 and 130 on clearance for eight and ten dollars. If you if you have the chance to buy ploppers for eight and ten dollars, uh, get like three different colors that you like. I like the blue blood and bone and a black one. So those are the favorite colors that I use, and they tend to work really well for all conditions. Oh, 
What, Chris? <laughs> uh, if you want to watch after I upload this, and you'll see why I did the, the whole live thing. I don't want to have to go back all over it, but uh, yeah, the bone, the red, the loon color, the white, or the, uh, what is it called? Blue blood. Blue blood's one of the best ones. Um, 90 and 110. Yeah, that's what I have right now. I have 90s and 110s. Uh, 90, 110. I, I had to get the 110 and the bone, and then uh, I have the black and the littler, the loon. Make sure you tie it on there good so that you get it back if you get it stuck on something. And make sure you're using very heavy line. <laughs> Just a tip for you. <laughs> okay, so we've run through... 26 minutes of conversation here. I just wanted to go through all this stuff with you guys and kind of get a quick understanding of how I fish the stuff that I've done. Um, tiny torpedo. That kind of, that reminds me of the Zera Spook. I used to use that all the time. Yeah, quiet, Chris. I've spent plenty of money on my freaking ploppers. It's not fun. <laughs> well, you got lucky. So don't do that again. <laughs> but anyways, I don't want to make this video, like I said, too long. I just wanted to go over what I have, what you guys use, uh, kind of get a, you know, variance. Obviously, if you see this after I upload it, please comment below all the different lures that you guys use. I want a good list of it. So if anybody's going, you know, going online and looking up, you know, bass lures that they can use, it's real simple. I mean, this obviously you guys posted through here. We've had the conversations about it, uh, and it's good good to give uh, people that are just starting out some you know good hard information. Uh, using hula popper spooks as fast as we can. Very good go to baits, Chris. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm gonna cut this short here. It was at 27 minutes. I don't want to go too much longer. And uh, obviously, you know. You guys have all been around. I've seen all you guys converse, you know, conversing. Once I upload this, do me a favor. Share it with anybody you know that actually likes fishing bass. Uh, you know, I want to try and help out people. And like I said, if you're seeing this and you comment below all the different baits and lures that you like to use for bass fishing, I would love to you know, spread the information around. But otherwise, I'm going to cut it short here. I hope you guys enjoyed today's Tackle Tip Tuesday. That's live and kind of hectic and not very planned out but i had to improvise so thanks again guys